you know where you are. This is Nollywood Pictures TV. Babes, okay. this is festive season, and I know the Yankee guys are going to come around. What am I even saying? I'm pretty sure they are in town already. Mm -hmm. Yankee guys are in town, but baby, you're taking now. So he's talking. That's one that's taking you. Hmm. Last I checked, I am not yet married to any guy, am I? Brenda, mm -hmm. what is going on? Wait, I hope you do not have any plan of dumping this month. That guy has done a lot for you, you know. What did he do for me? Hmm? What? This month saw you through the university. He practically did everything for you. Your feeding, your clothing, your... Enough, Come on! enough, enough. Eh? So because he helped me during my school days, I should not desire to marry a Yankee guy. A Yankee sweet, handsome man. In case you forgot, let me tell you. The reason why you did all of that was because you both are engaged. Ready to marry. Uh -huh. No, don't dump this guy. Don't dump him. Juliet, you're beginning to sound like a preacher to me. Anyway, everyone is entitled to their own opinion. As for me, Brenda, I know what I want. And when I see him, I'll know. But you see, Desmond, he's certainly not the one for me. Forget that. Brenda, Brenda, I am talking to you as a friend. Do not do this. It doesn't make any sense. Don't leave this guy heartbroken, please. But are you being real right now? Chili, take a proper look at me. Of course, I am looking at you, girl. Take a look at me. I can see you. I am a very beautiful lady. No doubt. With all the curves in the right places. <laughs> Come on, girl. You don't expect me to give all of this to a guy that resides. Brenda, in... please stop talking. Stop. <laughs> I'm sure you still have conscience, so think. My darling. My destiny is not here. My destiny is abroad. And I'm going to marry a man that lives overseas. You get it? You get it. Is this Brenda? She's a... Brenda, please, do not... Babe. You know the Yankee guys are in town this festive season. I know. My eye, they chuckle. <laughs> Brenda, oh? this month is there. Don't forget. Okay. What's that? What's that now? <laughs> I hope it's not what I'm thinking. Brenda. What are these KK guys? What are you thinking? Hi, ladies. Hi. Good afternoon, sir. Uh, my name is Murphy. My name is Brenda. Oh, nice name. What about you? I'm Juliet. Oh, nice name. Can I call you Julie? It's okay, sir. Oh, you're, you're beautiful, you know? You see, I'm not really into light-skinned women, but uh, I, I like your calves. You, you look really cool. Yeah. Thank you, sir. Where, where are you guys headed? <laughs> We're going to the salon to get our hair done. Oh, great. C can I drop you guys off? Sure, why not? All right, hop in, let's go.
this. Yeah, man. So I saw Bib now. Ah, she is good. My angel. She is good. As beautiful as always. So, um, how are you guys planning for this year to two? Um, my plan now is to go see her parents for the marital rights. As soon as possible, anyway. <laughs> see my guy. <laughs> I like the way you're sounding right now. Thank you, bro. Thank you. Thank you, man. Whoa. Yeah. She must be very elated. No. That you guys are about cementing what you guys started years ago. The truth is that I've not told her anything. You know, I, I have this plan that I'll go for the trial first. Mm -hmm. Then maybe by Easter, we'll have our wedding. Okay. But I'll definitely tell her at the time. It's going to be a surprise. Yeah, sure. You know, women, they like this eight-letter word. Marriage. Exactly. They love it like marriage. <laughs> exactly. You know, love is a beautiful thing. See, love is a beautiful but with the right person anyway. Yeah, sure. You know, as sweet as what sounds yeah. is what experience with the right woman, you know. Exactly. Exactly. Yes. <laughs> you know, I honestly I can't wait to make her my permanent wife. She's a beautiful thing in my life. <laughs> this is nice. This is nice. Well, I wish you guys the very best. Thank you, bro. Thank you, man. <laughs> You're doing well. Yeah, and thank you for your you know, encouragement. I always wish you guys to end up you know, together. Yeah, this is my wish. Thank you. I'm thank so happy you. for you. Thank you for your support. You're doing well, bro. <laughs> You're doing well. Thank you. So, Juliet, what do you do for a living? Uh, well, I just graduated from the university. Oh, great. What did you study? I studied civil law. Oh, law. That's great. So you're going to be a lawyer, huh? <laughs> yes, by the special grace of God. Mm. Oh, nice. I just uh, finished my master's in Canada. I got back last week. I knew it! Sorry, you knew what? I mean, it's all over your appearance. Well, congratulations, sir. <laughs> Thank you. Thank you, I appreciate it. You're welcome. Juliet, can I get your number so I can call you sometime? It's okay, it's fine. I want to call you. I hope you don't mind. Yeah. Thank you. So I turn left, huh? Oh yes, left. All right, just tell me when to stop. Okay, I will. Honestly, I will not trade Brenda with anything in the world. I can't watch her get married to any man at all. Uh, life would be meaningless without her, honestly. Yeah, sure. Not after spending several years together. The only thing that comes to mind is marriage. Exactly. Exactly. You can't even decide otherwise. Not after spending a fortune to make her a better woman. Brenda is someone I met when she was just a male girl. I watch her grow into this beautiful, sexy woman. <laughs> no, I will not allow anybody in this life to take her away from me. <laughs> no, 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 never. Brenda loves you so much. And she can't jilt you right now. Not after everything both of you share. You're, you're right, you're right, but the truth is... You know, this is Christmas. Christmas is approaching. And you see all these guys from Yankee come out, throw dollar, pounds all around her. <laughs> I, mean, I pray they don't lure her into marriage. That's just it. You know, as a man, I have to think far. What are you even talking about? That means she doesn't love you that much. Why do you think so? 
If she can be cajoled with money, that means she doesn't want your love. I don't think so. But the truth is that she is mine and nobody in this life. Nobody in this life will take her away from me. Oh, that's for you. Let oh. me get the table. Thank you, Thank you very much. Uh, how is Brenda? Uh, Brenda is fine. She's fine. Thank you, Ma. You're welcome. <laughs> Mom, they are getting married very soon. Wow. Yes. That's so nice. Thank you, Ma. In fact, I wish you all the best. <laughs> Congratulations in advance. Thank you. Oh, pardon my manners. Let me get the table. It's okay. Have you seen him since then? No, no, no. Hmm? Well, I'll try. I will go and see him maybe after you must have gone. Hmm. Mr. Murphy, sir. Okay. Not yet, but we'll soon be done. Really? So, are you home now? Why? What exactly are you thinking about, sir? Sorry, Murphy. What? Just like that? No, not really. <laughs> I don't even know you that well and I'm even surprised you're asking me to You don't expect me to believe that, do you? Okay. Why the mood swing? Why is your face like that? Brenda, I'm... I'm in a state of confusion right now. The guy we caged the lift in his car just asked me to marry him. <laughs> oh my goodness. For real. A guy just met a few minutes ago is asking you to marry him. It's crazy, right? <laughs> Please don't mind him more. He's not used to get married. You just need somebody asking him to marry you. I'm sure he's just being sarcastic. In as much as I know that this guy is cute and well educated, I also know marriage is not a thing that you can just jump into and, you know, it's something you have to be careful about. I'm happy you know about it. I mean, that means you're even considering it for you to be sounding this way. My sister, marriage is not something you just dabble into because some guy is rich and based abroad, Yankee guy. No, that's not what marriage is all about. Focus. 
What? Brenda. Hmm? Who be you the talk say you want Yankee guy? What do they worry you? I don't understand. Where you stand? Well, I know why I'm saying what I'm saying, no? Yeah, I know, but like the same thing where you want now. I say, don't show for me. Why you can't they discourage me? No. <laughs> Anyways, I will think about it. Uh, okay. Um, just think well. They are calling us. Do you want the other girl to take over? Let's go and do our hair and get going. Juliet is not so beautiful, but she looks humble. Sounds intelligent too. She seems like a good girl. And I think I want to make her my wife. I'll do everything to make her my wife. I'm saying is that you should decline this guy. Yes, you don't even know him that much, do you? Brenda, you told me you wanted a Yankee guy as a husband, right? And now a Yankee guy is asking for my hand in marriage. You're not comfortable with that. What's going on? Girl, I have a feeling that this guy wants to do something with you. Really? And he, yes, and he wants to use his mind as a disguise to get to you. Okay, it's fine, girlfriend. We shall see about that. Good. That's why I like you. You have sense. This guy is. Oh, no, you, you don't look good. Are you okay? I'm good. How come you were busy in my call while I was trying to call you? I was in a very noisy environment. No, oh, it's alright. That's alright. Oh, your hair is fine. That's lovely, babes. <laughs> Thank you. It's nice. Eh? Oh, babes. Guess what? You know I cannot guess. Just talk. What is it? Okay. You, you, you remember the company I submitted my proposal to? That's uh, Macombs Limited. Baby, you know, you know what? I won it. <laughs> wow. Yeah. That's, are you serious? I'm serious. You, you, know, you, know, you know why I'm happy? Why? After doing the contract, I'm going to have a lot of money. That means by December, we'll get married. <laughs> yes! My girl is getting married! Girl, this is so exciting. This yes. is an exciting news. First, you are now a graduate. And secondly, you will be getting married this December. Girl, this is exciting. What is wrong with you? Ah, <laughs> Hugo. What is wrong with you? Ah, ah, what is it now? What? Babes, what is wrong with you? Why are you suddenly growing cold towards your man? Don't you have any explanation to make? I all no one any explanation. Listen, it is my life. And I know what's best for me. What stupid life are you 
you talking about, Brenda? Brenda, this is Desmond we're talking about. What has he done so differently to deserve this kind of embarrassment from you? Well, let's just say I lost interest. You lost what stupid interest? Brenda! I don't want to do again now. I don't want to do. Brenda, you know what do waiting exactly? Like, I've lost interest. You've completely lost it, Brenda. What are you talking about? That guy went out of his way to submit that proposal to Macon's Limited. Linda, you told me about it. We both prayed about it and asked God that this comes true for him. And now God did it. You are not even excited for your own man. What's come over you? Okay, you know what? Let me spell it out for you. This whole marriage thing, I mean, this whole marriage thing is not going to work. I want out. Oh, Brenda! Babes, is he still going to come? I mean, you can never take this guy seriously. He gave me his words. So, he's definitely going to come. <laughs> but you've been waiting for over an hour now. Or are you going to wait indefinitely? Brenda, it's obvious something is keeping him. Besides, I'm already waiting for him. You're right. But it's just that we both know what these guys of nowadays are capable of doing. Who knows if he's with one girl smooshing and making out with her and keeping you here waiting. You know, you can never trust these guys. Let me be the one to bother myself with that. Yeah. So where is he taking you to? His house or a five-star restaurant or hotel? None of that. He said he wants me to come know his place. Wow! Yes. Let's see. Let me come with you now. No, Brenda. It's a date for two. You can come with me. But girl, see, you never can tell. Maybe... One or two of his guys that came back from overseas with him might be around and might find me attractive. <laughs> you want a Yankee man? What then mm. happens to this man? What about him? <sighs> Must you bring him into a conversation? Yes, because it's important. She was practically cool towards me, as if she didn't even see me. No, no, no. This is not normal. The Brenda I know will jump into your arms the moment she sees you. Do you know sometimes I'm even jealous of you guys the way you love each other? I think there is something wrong. Something is definitely wrong. Yes, something is definitely wrong. For you to tell her that you're getting married to her this festive period, and she didn't show any form of excitement. That's, that shows that something is definitely wrong with her. And she refused to mention what the problem is. Honestly, I, I'm confused. I am. I think uh, I'm going to give her a call to know what the problem is. Yes. I, I can't afford to lose that girl, honestly. I can't afford to lose her. This is not right. This is not right at all. You know, I always wish that you guys end up as husband and wife. I pray nothing happens, honestly. I just pray. Don't worry, bro. I'll talk to her. It's okay? All right. It's alright. Thanks, man. Thanks. Take it easy. It's all right.
Mm. I'll miss you. I'll miss you too. You call me when you get home. Hmm? I don't feel like letting you go, you know. But I have to go. Mm. You call me when you get home? Sure, I will. <laughs> I love you. I love you more. Another hug. <laughs> yeah. Uh, so, uh, you call me when you get home, right? I will call you. Yeah, another hug. Now I have to go. Yeah. All right. Take care. You too. Right. Thank you. Call me when you get home. I sure will. All right. Babes, let's go. Sure. Try. I'm a dear, dear, dear. Oh, dear, dear.